Finding the right help when you get sick or injured can be really tricky. I have a great GP who helps me with all sorts of things, but sometimes I can't get an appointment when I really need one quickly. I'm in pain and this feels quite urgent, but I know that if I go to the hospital, I'll probably have to wait for hours. What other options do I have? Where can people go to get urgent care? If you have a life-threatening emergency, then absolutely you need to go to hospital. So if you're having a significant breathing problem or bleeding problem, chest pain or maybe weakness, please attend your local emergency department immediately or call triple O. However, if you don't think you need to go to an emergency department or you're not quite sure, but you have a health issue and you really feel like you need urgent medical attention, you can call us at the Victorian Virtual Emergency Department and we can direct you to the most appropriate port of call for care. The Victorian Virtual Emergency Department can assist in non-life-threatening emergencies and connect you through to speak with a medical practitioner. You can access us from anywhere on your smart device from the comfort of your own lounge, basically. Um, you know, log on and be seen by one of our health professionals in a timely fashion. And what sort of things do they treat? The Victorian Virtual ED can see you with any health problem if it's not life or limb threatening. We treat all manner of things. We see children with fevers, mild head injuries. We see people with coughs and colds, with gastro, so lots of vomiting. Maybe you need some medication to help stop that vomiting. We see urinary tract infections, early pregnancy complications. The list is, is numerous. What's important is that we're there for you 24 seven. And if you're not quite sure where you can get care from, contact us and we can help direct you. In many instances, we can treat you at home and keep you at home. How do I access the Virtual Emergency Department? To access Victorian Virtual ED, all you have to do is log on to our website at vved.org.au. It'll take you through a patient portal registration form and then you'll be able to see one of our healthcare professionals in a timely fashion. Is a Virtual Emergency Department available in languages other than English? Absolutely. So we offer out our registration form in 22 different languages and we have 24-7 access to interpreter services so that everyone can access the Victorian Virtual ED. What happens if I need to call the Virtual Emergency Department in the middle of the night? We are open 24-7. We have doctors and nurses available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Do I need a Medicare card? You don't need a Medicare card to access the Victorian Virtual Emergency Department. What about if it's not a life-threatening situation, but I still need to see someone quickly? Are there other options? You can see a doctor or a nurse at a priority primary care centre. These are free and they're close to many major hospitals. What sort of things do they treat? We see people with minor burns, sprains, lacerations, minor bleeding, just to name a few. It's for something urgent, something that can't wait a few days. So if it can wait a few days, we'd ask you to try to see your GP. But if not, like you're in a lot of pain, then contact us. And we can also help you sort out where the right place to go is over the phone usually as well. What happens if I need an X-ray or a blood test? If you need an X-ray or blood test, we can do that on site or nearby. What happens if the patient doesn't speak English? If you don't speak English, we can arrange a free interpreter for you. Do you need to book or can you just walk in? You can phone or book an appointment online or you can just walk in. Care is free, even if you don't have a Medicare card. Can I come after hours and on weekends? We're open up to 16 hours a day, seven days a week. When should I go to my usual doctor instead? If you need care for an ongoing issue or a repeat prescription, see your usual GP. For your usual GP, you go to the things you usually go to your GP for, your, your, your preventative health care checks, your, your pap smears, your immunisations, your, um, your problems that can wait a little while, um, and, and regular scripts like blood pressure and, and, and illnesses that have been going on for, for a while that obviously aren't life-threatening or super urgent. And what happens if I choose the wrong option? We work closely with our local hospital, so if you need to be there instead of here, we'll get you there safely. Wow, I've learned so much. It is great to know about these options. Now I know how to get the care I need.